Hi guys, welcome back to MMP Cruising with Car First. So today my guest is the very stylish and the very talented Kamya Rokhi. And our whole segment is style, fashion and road trips. And I'm pretty much on route to pick up, actually I'm pretty much I'm there to pick up Kami. And uh, let's see what we have planned and I hope you guys enjoyed the segment. And don't forget that Car First is your one-stop shop for all your car buying, selling, and exchanging needs. And I'm at Kami's house. Hello. 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 How are you, Momina, my dear? So I'm good to see good. you. Let's well, strap ourselves in since we're going yes. for a little road trip. Exactly. And uh, welcome to MMP Cruising with Car First. Very nice, very nice, very yes, happy to like, be here. Yes, let's And what a car up. and cruising very nicely along. Yeah, nicely. Like nice. You. I am going to play my favorite game and we are going to play Would You Rather. Are you ready, Mr. Kamya? Yes, I am ready. Okay, so would you rather mm. run at 100 miles per hour or fly at 10 miles per hour? Uh, I would rather happily fly at 10 miles per hour to sort of hover, cruise and get a really nice view. Okay. Would you rather wear sneakers or fancy formal shoes for the rest of your life? Sneakers. After a certain while you realize with age you need comfort. So if it's for the rest of my life, it would definitely be sneakers. Okay. Would you rather wear classic clothing or trendy clothing for the rest of your life? For the rest of my life, I'd say I'd probably wear classic clothing. But now that I'm wearing sneakers for the rest of my life, it would be quite trendy because <laughs> it would be classic clothing with sneakers. So I'd always have an element, I'd always have an edge. So that's working out perfectly for me. Okay, Kami, the last one. Yes. Okay. Would you rather put up an ad to sell your car or sell it in one hour? Oh, who's going to bother putting up an ad? I just sell it in one hour. Car first, phone karo. Car first, phone or kaam ho gaya Haan, car first, phone and the work is done. Yes. Zabardast, zabardast. Yes, and with that comes the close to our game segment. Now we're going to do our little fashion rapid fire with you. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a fun thing. I want to know, like I want everybody here to know uh, more about fashion and dri like driving and road trips and how you can be stylish, you know. How should one dress up for a, when you're going on a long road trip? Like, you know, and you should look stylish and yet comfortable and what's your goal? Well, I think uh, knitwear, you know, anything that's knit and these days knitwear is done in such a stylish wear. So some knit bottoms, they can be tracks, but they can be really cool tracks. And you can wear a t-shirt or you can even wear a shirt, but that's made out of jersey material, you know. So I think the main thing is knitwear and something that you can move around in and be comfortable in but at the same time be stylish okay and what are some of the fashion no-nos when it comes to road tripping like some of the most disastrous things that people wear i wouldn't want to spend four hours in a three-piece suit uh that would be very uncomfortable oh. and even if a lady is traveling in a tight fitted shalwar kameez i think that could be quite uncomfortable imagine wearing a giant shalwar and the 90s kind of tight fitting shalwar kameez with a big dupatta i think that oh that that would be quite hard so okay for you kami what is that one piece of clothing like that is like super comfy and super like stylish it's actually right. what i'm wearing i like a comfy chino with a little bit of stretch in it you know okay just a nice cotton chino if you can't wear shorts because of the weather but yeah. they're like always comfortable and they're kind of smart and they have a little bit of stretch in them. So a little bit of stretch in the fabric is important. But yeah, comfy chinos. Comfy I'm definitely chinos. not going to go on a long road trip or even a road trip wearing jeans. Before I, you know, say hasta la vista to you. Before we say goodbye. Uh, yes. What things that you only see on highways in Pakistan? Well, there's the classic, you know, six people on one motorbike situation. Then there is uh, the classic, you know, about 15 people dangling from the back of a bus. Yes. And then sometimes you see the, I mean, the most amazing trucks, you know, we have a lot of truck art, but sometimes yeah. 
some of the trucks are really kitted out you know there's in truck art there's like sort of like a normal truck arty one and then there's a medium one and then there's one that has like a huge sort of sunset scene in the back and dangling things and it's painted all over and it's bright and fresh so nothing like a brand new painted over the top truck thank you so much for joining thanks me. for having me i you know i wish that I could have been a better actor and given you more drama but uh, maybe you can save that for but another you know car what? ride. You need to wait for next week because we have Vikas of Vikar oh, coming in. So maybe, excellent, excellent. So maybe I can line a little something up for you. And that you can. Maybe tell, I've been telling Mikal for ages who do I go to a screen test. I've been dying to do something like that. Yeah, so well, we have Mikal coming in next week guys. So you guys stay tuned and thank you so much Kami. Thank you. For, uh, you know doing this with me and i believe we have reached your destination and uh I'll thank see you. you soon thank you for having me mm -hmm. okay guys and with that we come to an end of another episode of mmp cruising with car first uh i hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't checked out the rest of the episodes check them out now and i'll see you next week with mikhail zulfikar take care bye